Hello artists, how are you today? Stephanie Ani coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here in Six Rivers National Forest near Willow Creek, California. Oz and I welcome you to the studio. So this is our build a doodle. And um, you know, I was gonna, I have a, a different build video in mind for Friday, but you know, this started out with just showing you how to make a pine tree. And then I showed you how to make some shadows and then it's like, well, let's make it some mountains. And then it's like, well, so, you know, this, this evolved and, um, I like it though. And I thought you guys should maybe see how to do it. Uh, it's not a doodle. It's a, it's a little landscape painting. Um, I think you guys should be able to do this. It's going to take some practice. I've been doing this for 40 years or more. So don't feel intimidated or frustrated if you can't do it the first time. It's, um, it takes practice and it takes time. And, um, you know, if you don't feel comfortable with watercolors, do it with a different medium. I'm basically showing you how to make the shapes and how to uh, make the composition. Remember your warmer colors are going to come forward. So even on this one, this red, this is actually the brightest color, right? So that's almost a little bit better right there. However, this red is a very intense color. Maybe it's sitting back in the shadows. It probably should have had a little bit more highlight. I didn't know that I was going to make this. So I didn't really plan for it. Um, if I were to do it over again, I would definitely have some more of the yellow warmer colors in there. And then this would be a little bit more subtle. But um, this painting did evolve. Um, I think I worked on it, well, I definitely worked on it much longer than 10 minutes. I probably worked on it at least 30 minutes, if not longer. I won't know until I get um, the video edited, but... <sighs> Sorry. All right, guys, um, if you are able to, uh, we do have the Patreon video for the build video coming up on Friday. We're going to work with um, looking at tree shapes a little bit closer for um, deciduous trees, you know, trees that have leaves that fall. So um, that is my plan for Friday. I don't know. I haven't really gotten there yet, um, but hopefully our build video Hopefully we'll be doing something cool. I like to have it all done by the time I'm doing this, but I'm thinking something along that line. We'll do some practice with that. I would love, now remember, these are all the images that I provided to the Patreons. We could easily do something like this. So maybe we'll see what, what sparks my fancy here in a couple days. I could show you how to do this one also, this one, or this one. I love all of them. You know, I could, I could spend a couple months working on some of these images and, and trying to reproduce them. And, but we're working with other mediums and doing other things. So we'll see what happens on Friday on Patreon for the build video. If you do have that opportunity, I would really appreciate your support. There's the $10 tier and the $25 tier. The $25 tier, they both have the exact same content. It's just in the more expensive tier, you do get a chance to have a conversation with me uh, for 30 minutes once a month. Um, you guys are gonna have to be patient with that. I am going to have to figure out what my schedule is going to be coming up. So um, I'm not gonna have quite the time that I used to have. Okay, all right guys, love you bunches. And um, thanks again, everybody who is supporting the channel. You guys rock, and I truly do appreciate you. All right, have a great day. Bye-bye. Hello, artists. Okay, so last week, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm tired. You have to forgive me. I'm trying to get a couple of these ahead so that um, you have them ready to go for next week. And I just did that show yesterday, so I'm definitely still a bit tired from that. I would love to take a day off, but I know that I need to get these up for you in the morning. So this was yesterday's play. Uh, this was definitely more of a build, um, even though it didn't turn out to be perfect. I was just wanting to show you some additional doodles that you could do. 
and how we can put that together again. Um, you know, this is actually super cool right here. I could easily see that being, you know, a piece of small art. You, you don't have to use the whole thing. You can cut these out and truly use them as uh, little bits of ephemera in a journal, or you could make something like that super simple if you're making like a little uh, you know, journal to sell for somebody or to give to somebody. Super easy little trees. But what I want to do is I want to show you how to make a little bit more realistic tree. And truly the pine tree is probably the easiest way to go. Now remember that these are um, Pinterest images here. So uh, let's see. What we're going to do is we're going to make just a simple light line, all right? Now, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to add a little bit more water to it there. Oh, let's see, that's what I was worried about. I got a little bit too much water on there. It's all right. We can soak it up. It's not a catastrophe. Soak it up. Soak it up. <laughs> it doesn't soak up on that one, does it? Let's go with this guy here. There we go. Just the paintbrush with a little bit of, of, you know, a dry paintbrush will soak that up right off the bat. Okay. So, you see how they have a couple little sticks coming off of it? And then this one, they don't have the little sticks coming off of it. It just depends. Stick a point up. Three brush across. Highlight shade and detail. Okay, so we're looking at a couple different ways to do it here. We're going to pick out a good pine color. We're going to kind of mix it up, but I want to kind of stay light first off. Um, so these are actually trays for your color here. So you can mix your color. All right. take our green and we're going to start it above that line and then we're going to slowly and gradually come out we are not going to make our little limbs be directly the same across from each other now we're going to come in with a little bit more, that was a lot more paint, but that's okay. So th these are different types of trees here. This is a different tree from this one and from this one. So remember, very rarely are your branches truly directly across. They're more staggered. But you don't want them to look like they're uniform. Of course, it depends on what type of tree it is too. The best way to, to see what a pine tree looks like is to go out and look at one or to go online and get yourself some good references. Right. So as we go down, we're just bringing our little uh, branches. I just put a lot of water on that. I squeeze the brush a touch too hard. I'm just going to add a little bit more uh, paint into it. Now, generally pine trees don't grow all the way to the ground. Uh, it depends again on what type of tree it is. Sometimes they do. Uh, sometimes it depends on you know what environment they're in. We're just going to pull into some of that um, terracotta color there, that sienna color. And we're just going to pull it down like that. There it is. 
Now we can go in and add a little bit of shadow. We're going to add some blues in there. Just to give it some little bit extra dimension. Don't go in with one solid color. You know, you're going to be better off if you can kind of vary your colors a bit. Remember, if you want, if you're doing a group of these and you want one to come forward over the other, you use warmer colors versus cooler colors, um, light washes versus um, a thick wash. This is, this is thick paints here uh, as far as watercolor goes. See how cool that is? That's oh, a perfect tree. So if I wanted to make something be behind it, I would make a cooler color that's less intense. If I wanna just give an indication of a tree that's back there, a, a wash, right? It has to have less detail or it'll come forward. You can vary your colors. Let them blend together. See how this one comes in front of this one? This one is a warmer color. It is also um, taller. So scale matters very much so. Let's put it in an environment even here. Let's go into a purpley color. We gotta add a little bit more water to that. Make it have a mountain behind it. I squeezed the brush when I was pulling it out. There's very few mountains that are straight up and down. If you get a straight up and down mountain, it's basically going to be like the Tetons. Look at how mountains are shaped. So we're going to bring in a foreground color. It's a warmer tone. Still very faded. And we're going to pull in a little bit more of that blue. Definitely uh, very wet on wet right there. So we're gonna add a little bit more pigment to it. Um, I'm actually gonna sop up a little bit of that water. bring in some more pigment. All right, let's put a ground on it in this little forest here that we have happening. The warmest tone, right? The most intense color. We're going to add a little bit more green in there. Make that a 
little side come down so that our large trees make sense. Add a little bit more color back in here. Not necessarily just color, but indications of more trees. there. I like some bleed effect, but I really want to be able to have control of it too. So we're going to go into these thicker colors. starts to do what you don't want to do, pull up some of the water. We dried kind of thick right there. For some reason, we've got a little spot right there. Let's take our brush. Let's see if we can't kind of work it out. I don't know why that's there. So that's how we make a pine tree and put it into an environment. It's pretty simple. And it becomes more simple with practice. Remember guys, I've done this many, many, many times, not necessarily with watercolors, but this is a scene that I've painted, you know, throughout my life. So if you don't get it your first time, Please don't stress on it. Please don't compare yourself to me. Uh, you're giving yourself a really unfair comparison if you do that, right? I mean, why would you compare yourself to somebody who's been doing it for 40 years? Why would you do that? I'm not going to compare my basketball skills to Steph Curry. You know, I'm not going to do that because he's been playing for 40 years. So why would I, why would I be so uh, ridiculous to think that I should be able to, use, to, to play just like him? It's not how it works. You've got to practice and put in the time and, and work at it. But I do love what's happening there. And I mean, even that was a super quick sketch. So what's happening is this actually got crooked. <laughs> That's why I keep trying to push it over here so that I can make that tree have a little bit more balance. It's kind of crookedy tree. Uh, we can also put in little lines of stuff in here too. So I can get an old dead tree back in there. I don't know. I wasn't planning on doing this, so it just kind of happened. <laughs> it happens.
what I need to do is let that dry and then come over this with some more darks. Or I can bring in my, my pen also, but I don't think I would want to do that at this point. If I go with a nice thick line, too much water on my brush. Happens, don't freak out. It's okay. No freaking out. No reason for it. So we cut it off right there. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Not everyone is going to be a masterpiece. Not bad. Not great. I don't know. It is what it is. Okay, so I just decided to play with this a little bit more because, well, I wasn't entirely happy with what it was doing. So um, I'm taking up some of the um, paint from here in the center. I added in this little tree back here and some little bushes. And this sky is going to be this little bright tree. It's going to go right in there. Basically a little aspen -y tree. Turns yellow in fall. Go ahead and fix that too.
there we go. I like that better. You never know what you're going to get, right? It's got a little thick right there. No, I'm not scrubbing. I'm not pushing hard. If you push too hard, you're going to make your paper um, peel up. You have to be careful with that because that can happen very easily, very quickly. You see how with watercolor it can just be a suggestion of shapes? It doesn't have to be anything that's super uh, technical or super perfect. You know, it's just a suggestion of shapes, colors, remember your color theory. warms and cools. See, this is almost a little bit cool color now. So it kind of falls back a little bit behind that yellow, which we really don't want that to happen. But what we can do, watch this. So now what we're doing is we're making shadows, we're making contrast. I don't know if I love how this palette is set up. This blue should be with those blues. Right, I'm gonna stop playing with that. <laughs> okay guys, we'll chat soon. Have a great day. Bye bye.